Welcome to Chinda School of Statistics and Data Science. Today we will be going to solve the problem number 15 of GET 2022 statistics paper. The problem says that uh, the random variable x is the cumulative distribution function of fx equal to cap, cap phi x and if x less than minus 1 and cap phi of x plus 1 if x greater than equal to minus 1. Okay. So now we have to check which of the following statements is true. There are four statements given. We have to check one by one. So let us check the first one. So probability of x equal to minus 1 is basically probability of x less than equal to minus 1 minus probability of x less than minus 1. So that is becomes this is EV. Say this is the mass point minus 1. So here probability will be the probability here and the probability here difference between the probability here and there because probability is right continuous okay so x greater than equal to minus one becomes so minus one minus what is the probability and x less than minus one becomes apart from minus one what is the probability that probability of x uh, x is less than minus one okay so this is the probability of the mass point so check f of minus one minus f of minus one and minus zero we denote it by this form uh, symbol is probability so this becomes f of minus one is cap phi zero from the definition because x equal to minus one it will be cap phi of minus one plus one phi cap phi of zero minus if x is less than minus one here it is following so this will be cap phi of minus one so half minus something positive quantity that is is greater than zero since phi is an increasing function okay so cap phi zero will be greater than cap phi of minus one so this is a positive quantity so we have probability of at a mass point x equal to minus one is probably positive this is not zero hence we can say x is not a continuous random variable is not okay So now we check the given conditions. So probability of x less than equal to minus one is basically capital F of minus one because capital F x is CDF. CDF, the definition of CDF is basically fx equal to probability of x less than equal to x. Okay. So by definition, this is a cap phi, uh, capital F of minus one, which is basically at minus one, it is cap phi of x plus one. So putting a minus one, we get cap phi of zero, which is half. Oh, you all know because for x follows normal mu uh, 0 sigma square probability of x less than or equal to 0 is half since 0 is a median so this is basically cap phi 0 okay sorry so here uh, this this option is correct now we check probability of x equal to minus one which you already calculated cap phi of zero minus cap phi of minus one which is we get half minus some positive quantity this is positive okay so half minus some positive quantity which is strictly less than half so that will not be equal to half okay let's say this and now we check the next one probability of x less than minus one now this point is minus one okay probability of x just below it this will have a probability so if we add the probability at x equal to one that is probability of x less than minus one plus probability of x equal to minus one it will, it will give us probability of x less than equal to minus one now probability of x less than equal to minus one you already have half okay So probability of x less than minus one is basically half minus probability of x equal to minus one, which we have already got as a positive quantity. Here, uh, probability of x equal to minus one is a positive quantity. Okay. So half minus again some positive quantity, which is less than half, which is not equal to half. Okay. So hence probability of x strictly less than minus one is not equal to half. Okay. 
So now you have to check whether product of x less than zero is greater than uh, equal to half or not. So product of x less than zero basically capital F of zero and capital F of zero is basically it is lying within the range x greater than or equal to minus one. So we will put zero here and we get cap phi of one. So cap phi of one will be greater than cap phi of zero since phi is an strictly increasing function for fx being the CDF of an absolutely continuous random variable. Capital phi is the CDF of normal zero, which is absolutely continuous and it is strictly increasing, which we have, which I have told earlier also. So this becomes cap phi of one greater than cap phi of zero equal to half. Hence, probability of x less than zero will be greater than half, not equal to half. Hence, only option A is correct. Okay. So we have the option A is correct. Now the motive of the problem is to find the required probabilities even here okay so general in general x equal to minus one is this uh, x equal to a say is probability of x less than equal to a minus probability of x less strictly less than a so using this formula we calculate the first one and similarly the other one also uh, with the help of the first one that is this is become x equal to minus one when probability of x less than minus one minus probability of x strictly less than minus one so similarly this quantity is a positive quantity and less than half similarly we add uh, we took the help that probability of x equal to minus one is greater than zero hence if we add the probabilities it will increase strictly and it will be less than half again and probability of x less than zero is kept of uh, capital f of zero which is capital of minus one capital f phi of one so cap phi of one is greater than cap phi zero as phi is strictly increasing, so it is only half. So option A is correct. Now we next go to the question number sixteen. The problem says that x is a random variable with a probability density function given by this, and with alpha greater than zero, gamma greater than zero. So if x is a median one and third quantile is two, we have to find alpha and gamma pair. So we have two properties of x as follows median of x is one and quantile three but that is third quantile of x is two okay so we can write this as zero to one since one is a median the probability integrand if we integrate the pdf from zero to one range it will give the pro, uh, a, area as half say here is the median one so from in this region the area will be half and in this region also the area you have so we took one one region only you can take other region also that is uh one to infinity whatever you want and uh the if we also have quantile three of x is two so similarly quantile three means below it the probability is 75 percent that is 0 0.75 and above which this is one by fourth and this 0 0.25 so zero to two we have the probability uh, if we integrate the PDF, we will get three by four. So using these two values, we will find the alpha gamma pair. So now we can rewrite this as zero to one. So what I have told earlier, you can take also this range or this range. I took it for my calculation. So make my calculation easier. And also this to make my cal calculation easier. So two to infinity and one to infinity because of this, because I have one exponential in the pdf so usually when this type of functions are there it is easier to integrate from a finite range to infinity because if we integrate the this will remain gamma by uh, lambda x this will remain same if we integrate it so this will become k to infinity and in infinity if we will take the limit it will be zero so it is easier to calculate from this uh, this kind of range k to infinity if there is an exponential part in the pdf okay so now we generally take k to infinity here and we will put k equal to one and two later so uh, let's find this so this simply becomes alpha into gamma into x to the power alpha minus one into e to the power minus lambda x to the power alpha dx integrating over k to infinity and we substitute lambda x to the power alpha equal to u so this whole thing becomes du and we get e to the power minus u into du integrating from lambda k to the power alpha to infinity as we have to as i have told earlier this has an exponential part so infinity will go away so we have e to the power minus lambda equal to half and e to the power minus 2 uh, to the power alpha equal to 1 by 4 
putting k equal to 1 and 2 are, are respectively okay so you have lambda equal to l into log e base 2 and from this equation you get alpha equal to 1 hence alpha lambda pair is 1 log e base 2 so option a is correct whatever given in option a is correct okay so the main motive of the problem is to judge whether you can write uh, from a given information that is median or any quantile value is given you can write it so the pth quantile will be 0 to so its pth quantile is q say m okay so 0 to m will be integrate if we integrate the pdf in 0 to m this will yield the area p so this is the meaning of pth quantile it is below m the probability is p okay so now next we have question number 17 so here the problem says that x p random variable having partial distribution is mean lambda greater than zero then you have to find the expectation of one by x plus one given x greater than zero okay so here x follows partial lambda lambda greater than zero and the support of x is zero one to up to infinity which you can write as a natural number union zero and to find expectation of one by x plus one given x greater than zero let us find the truncated distribution of x given x greater than zero so if we can find this then there is nothing to do about the expression you can just simply take the summation okay so the, uh, to the truncated pmf of x for x belongs to a is given by f a x we denote it by this symbol so this is the actual pdf of x in the full range fxx and this is the area that is the probability that x will lie between, uh, belong to the region a or small x belongs to a zero otherwise this is the truncated pdf you can Try um, think how is this coming? Say we have a distribution of x here. If we truncate this, so this probability will be gone. Okay. So to adjust, to add up to the probability one, we have to increase the PDF once again so that these two area, say this area is a one and this area is a two. So we have to make sure that this area is become a one plus a two. Okay so that the entire region the pdf integrated up to is one okay so for this we have to do the this probability kind of part division so that the entire thing this is less than one so if we divide the pdf by less than one thing it will increase that increment is given by this so that the total area remains same okay this is the intuition behind this if we just calculate you can get that fx x cover um x belongs to a integrate here so a hoga product of x belongs to a okay if we divide this by this this will give x belongs to a f x of x by probability x belongs to a dx so basically this is become a pdf which is pdf that is a pdf of truncated distribution okay so here if x given x greater than zero the truncated pdf is one by product of x greater than zero as i have discussed earlier so into it is the actual pdf for uh, x belongs to natural number because zero will be no x belongs to a a is the natural number okay so the expectation will be simply the summation uh, thing so summation x equal to one to infinity into one by one minus e to the lambda it is a probability of x greater than zero into the whole pdf into one by x plus one the expectation for the and this comes for the expectation so if we calculate and manipulate we get e to the minus lambda by lambda into one minus e to the lambda summation of x equal to one to infinity lambda to the power x plus one by x plus one factorial so if we just shift one part that is x plus one equal to y uh, say t we'll get this kind of summation so this simply becomes e to the power lambda minus lambda minus one how because e to the power lambda we have summation t equal to zero to infinity lambda to the power t by t factorial okay so lambda sorry so now if we take the summation from two so t zero t equal to zero and t equal to one will be in the left side that is e to the power minus lambda for t equal to zero it will be one only and for t equal to one it will be lambda okay so this becomes t equal to 2 to infinity lambda to the power t by t factorial that is what i have done here okay so now 
after calculation you get one minus lambda into t to the power minus lambda minus e to the power lambda divided by lambda into one minus e to the power lambda minus lambda so by checking the option you get the option a is correct so the main motive of the problem is to find the distribution of the truncated pdf so this is the general formula and this is uh i have discussed the intuition behind this you can think yourself also and try yourself so that is all for today thank you for watching i will see you in the next video till then stay tuned and stay blessed